military men and bombed my people, bombed the poor people of El Chorrillo, San Miguelito, and Colón. They created another Hiroshima in Central America. The U.S. government justified this blood invasion by calling it just cause. Mr. Bush, your just cause has left between 2,000 to 7,000 Panamanian dead, and they are also human beings. They have been burned to ashes and buried in mass graves in the name of just cause. Mr. Bush, you have left 50,000 people homeless and displaced. Thousands of Panamanians are in prison on your military bases and in your undisclosed jails. Thousands of Panamanian children, women, are wounded. And Mr. Bush, you deny them the right to medical care in the name of just cause and democracy. The U.S. government have sworn in and installed on Southern Command military tanks a puppet government. Today, Panama is not only invaded, but remains occupied by U.S. invading troops <laughs> who are running the country as a colony with many grave human rights violations. Today, I'm here to charge the government of the U.S with the crime against humanity, genocide. I am here to denounce the racist, arrogant, interventionist, and double standard policies of the US administration against the peoples of the third world. I am here to say to Mr. Bush that just as he has recently stated, that he supports the right to self-determination of the people of Lithuania, we also demand the same respect yeah. for the peoples of Central America. Yeah. For self-determination, sovereignty and dignity. That's right. The U.S. government applauds and supports the changes taking place in Eastern Europe. But in Central America and the Caribbean creates mercenary forces. It engages its covert and overt operations an invasion to stifle the just aspiration of a people. We also call on the peoples in the U.S., and particularly on the anti-interventionist movement, to redouble your efforts to stop U.S. interventions and invasions of Central America and the Caribbean, or any other country in the third world. Do not allow yourselves to be continued, to be lied continuously, and lie, and to lie and be dis disinformed continuously, which has happened for a very long time. The principle of non-intervention needs to be understood that regardless of the kind of government or system that exists in other nations, does not ever justify or give, their might, or give them the mighty power to invade our country. Yeah. Yeah. As it did in Grenada in 1983, and for the last years, with the aggressions on our tiny sister nation of Nicaragua, and now an invasion of my country, Panama. We need to an end of U.S. invasions. We cannot allow for Cuba to be next. We need to say to the U.S. administration, hands off Cuba. We need to say to the U.S. administration that Cuba has the right, regardless of her size and her color, to have the right to the system that this government and people have chosen and to stop the ongoing aggressions and the threats of invasions which has existed for the last 30 years and no more than ever, the earth is also threatening an invasion of Cuba. We are calling on all peace-loving people to join our efforts of the Independent Commission to investigate the U.S. inquiry and to attend the events that we are having in New York on April 5th All right. at Town Hall at 7 p.m. to hear the voices of the people from Panama. We also call on you to join us in New York on April 7th at Times Square at 1 to say to the Bush administration to stop threatening Cuba, hands off Cuba, that Cuba, Panama, El Salvador, Guatemala, 
and the rest of the third world also have the inalienable rights and aspiration as all other Europeans and, non -Amer and North Americans. I would like to end by joining and bringing to life Archbishop Romero Cole to the U.S. government to say stop the war, stop the occupation of Panama, end the repression in Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, end the U.S. war in Central America. Thank you.